Hello everyone, Misty Vale here again. So we're going to continue with our Rancher Rivershine. Um, I just wanted to show you on the front here that Eloise, um, she implemented this a while ago, but um, the difficulty, you can change it from normal to story mode. And again, story mode being that all uh, the quests, when you get them, auto-complete and you don't have to worry about um, placing first, second, or third in any of the races, or you can just stay in normal. Also, the day speed, you can change it, but she has uh, said, and people have noticed, when you do slow or very slow, it is kind of buggy still. She is working on that, but I just wanted to show it off and let you know that you can, if the day seems too fast, you can change it. Um, remember, this game still is in early access, but we're going to... Um, we're going to start a new save and um, just take you through. Uh, I know a lot of you have already seen how you start in the beginning and stuff like that, but we're going to we're going to try it and uh, see if I can show you anything different or anything that you haven't seen before. And we are going to start now. All right, so we're going to play this. I am just going to randomize because I don't do that. Go to eye colors. There's lots of eye colors. This is all the customer char characterization. Um, body type is either uh, male or female. Um, so we're not going to do that. I am not that dark, so we're going to, whoops, no, nor am I that dark, so we're going to go here, Oop, name, sorry, um, I don't know, what do I do, Oop. not that, obviously, Shelly, okay, I know it's an odd way to spell Shelly, but that's okay, all right, So we arrive, we explore the town before, sometimes bef you don't even have to um, go and talk to Madeline right away. You can come around here, cruise around, see the pretty horses. Looks like we got a, a bay. Make sure there's none on the roof because I did see one on the roof one time. Thought that was pretty funny. Get some forageables and then go talk to Madeleine, who's like not quite the mayor, but this is a, a gray den. Super pretty. Just to start getting you on your way and collecting. In the beginning, of course, collecting, selling, pretty much everything that you can come across is great. And this is in front of, this is the auction house, which I still think there should be gates back here by these pillars, just so the horses don't wander out, but that's just me. This is the lovely view of the town. Um, I think that is, in, there are a couple empty houses in town because people have left. Hopefully they will be filled. There's a round pen over there. This is the town square. There's Rivers Training Arena and Rivers House is down there. And then uh, this is statue of, of a wild sprout. This is the competition race board. Down here is the rest of the town. So let's talk to Madeline and see if we can find our first. Whoops, first let's go get this. We got some seeds too. Okay, let's talk to Madeline. I'm not going to read all of this. If you just because it takes so long, and I know a lot of you have, I'll let it sit so you can read it, um, but I am not going to read the text. Um, needless to say, they haven't had a champion in a while. Um, we are their requested champion. They wrote to us and asked us to come here, and she's arranging for us to get our first horse. And... Um, I guess we have some, I don't remember if she gives us the money or we already had the money. Yeah. 
if you see a horse you like and you have the money for it, yep, always look for their find a coat color you like, but all their other skills are important. Yeah, you can change the name later. I love that. Let's see if there's any floating people. Oh, nope, we don't even get to see that. So in the first one, lovely, a first almost all black horse. Um, in the first one, you can continue to look at horses until you find one you like. Um, obviously, the higher the price, you will find the higher the stats. This one's got 13 speed, 19 endurance, 12 jump, 18 flexibility, and 50% potential. That's pretty decent, even if he's at the top of the tier. Um, um, you know what? I'm kind of tempted. We'll just do it. I'm going to have no money whatsoever. Yay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have $825. <laughs> well, that was easy. Yep, we're going to see River. She's going to teach us how to ride because we don't know. We have, apparently, we have absolutely no idea. So I need to hit E. Come on, horsey. And we're going to look for forageables on the way. Come on. There we go. Sometimes if they're if they're looking like they're having an issue, just let them catch up. And we are going to river, but sometimes right in here, there is a forageable, but sometimes not. Sometimes at rivers there are too. But this is just basic gameplay. I want to get through, get through the first day, and then. Um, And then, sorry, and then um, start our adventure in racing. Okay, this animation of this character. Look at her little gloves. I never noticed she had gloves on. Super cute. Okay, yep. Good. Yeah, the animated character, the animation of these characters is super, super cute. I love, love it. Eloise did a great job. And you can use your mouse button or your mouse wheel and scroll back so you're not as dizzy. Yep, we didn't do the gallop. <laughs> not yet. So press your left alt button and then you can have the free camera so that you can see your horse. Hit the good side. And if you press left alt again, it recenters it for the mouse thing. You can play either way. You can either play with the, the alt, which is the WASD keys, or you can play with um, your mouse. I prefer the mouse. It's just easier for me, but dealer's choice, it's up to you. Um, yeah. I usually just spam. Whoop. Okay. I forgot about that. True. Okay. I was going to say, I usually spam the space bar. That is how you jump when you're using the mouse. You get less refusals, but you can still get a refusal. Okay. All right. So she's going to send us to see George, get a little care package, and we're on our way. Let's go. This is just a lovely, I mean, look at the, the scenery. It is a lovely, cute game. And you can herd the chickens. Come on, chickens. Come on. You can herd the sheep, and you can herd the chickens. Come on. And there's also bunnies at some point. 
in one of the locales, you can herd them too. Well, if you can catch them. <laughs> They're a little fast for bunnies. Uh, there he is. Hey, George. Oof. All right. He gave us some tools and some food and some snacks for the, the horse. Yes, we know. They've all closed down. Hopefully, they'll move back in. We really want a thriving town. Thank you. Yeah, you can't sell to him until the next day or even buy from him. He's just like, go home. <laughs> go, go see your ranch. Put your horse to bed. Chill. So you can ride your horse in the water. I'm just going to show you around the town. Here's the sheepies. So this is going to be an entrance to another area at some point. The Rocky Mountain area. This is where the entrance will be for that. This is not in the game at this point. This right here is George's house, the shop guy we were just at. Across the way is an empty house. And then that big house right there is um, Madeline's and another empty house. But this is super cute. <clears throat> you have all these little bridges. You can go all the way back here. So if you want to just go on a trail ride with your horse, you can go on a trail ride. You can chase some sheep. You can chase some chickens. You can play in the water. You cannot go into the bridge. I think you can go over this. I'm not sure. Let's see. Can you go through this? Yeah, okay. That works. Some more forageables. You can't lead your horse through the water, but you can, I know I've said this again, you can't lead them, but you can lead them around. You can ride them through the water, but not, uh, usually there's a forageable over here. Apparently not today. This is where Jai lives. Jai is the park ranger who opens up all the different areas. Lupine Meadow, this is the entrance for Lupine Meadow. This will be the first area that we open up. Um, it's a wide open, beautiful space that you can gallop and run. Whoops, sorry, I forgot my own thing. I just said that, didn't I? <laughs> <Right. laughs> just fill it up and set it and then just tried to do it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's put this baby to bed. I will show you around the ranch a little bit. So you've inherited this ranch, apparently. Um, the stables are are this way, right, right there. Those are your stables. You have this field, which is broken down, as you can see. You have this big field here. And then you have a field directly behind it, which you can see is in disrepair. And then in between those two broken ones, there's a field and that will be the fertility pasture. And you can see that your barn is not in great shape either. This is your riding arena where you can practice jumping. You have this lovely bridge over here. Up there on that little hill is a round pen that is not fixed. If you don't know what a round pen is, it's just exactly what it says. It's a round pen. A lot of people use it to um, either train their horses or teach beginner riders how to ride because they're in an enclosed area and the horse can only go so far. So this needs to be fixed at some point. At this point in time, it's not working uh, in the game. And then this is our covered riding arena that will eventually be fixed. And eventually, like when there's snow, there will be weather in the game, snow, rain, etc. You will be able to ride your horse in here and get bonuses for doing so. And then there's a, a little 
there's more forageables always back here um, back this way anyway not not this way but over this way there's always some forageables But back this way, behind the the uh, broken down covered arena, is just a nice little area. It's not not really used. You can just take a little trail ride back here, just chill out. Nice little river meandering through your property. There is no jumping without having actual jumps down. Oops. Um, like I can't jump these fences. I have to have actual jumps down in the riding, one of the riding arenas, and um, or in one of the uh, open areas, like in Lupine Meadow. From Jai, the park ranger, you can buy uh, courses that he'll put down throughout the area. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. Okay, let's put this guy to bed. And there are forgeables in this big, in all three pastures. You can get them. So we'll put this guy in bed. To start, you only have two stalls. And then this is the tutorial on, you've got your horse's health, energy, satiety, care, trust, we're at zero, speed, endurance, jump, flexibility, and the potential. Well, we had 50. Okay, so this is the type of hay over here, alfalfa, timothy, and orchard. Um, orchard grass gives the least. Timothy at the, this point gives the most. Alfalfa is in the game. It's in the Crystal Lake area, but it says excellent quality hay to feed a malnourished horse. We don't have malnourished horses in this game at this point. Um, this is the grain tab so you have milo wheat barley corn and oats um, if your horse didn't have a hundred percent you could give him some oats to make up for it which is actually this wants me to do so I'll give him some oats and treat apple and carrot cucumber pumpkin watermelon pear we are not in the game yet they will be so let's give him an apple and that gives them Apple gives the most energy right now. Carrot gives a little bit less. Um, brush, we only have an old brush right now. You can see the, the diamonds um, indicate that he's already clean. He hasn't, he hasn't had any uh, issues. And then you put straw down, gives you 25% care. Wood shavings and sand are not in the game yet. Pitchfork, you use in the morning um, when it's gone. Um, you can ride tackless. You just put no saddle and no bridle, and you can ride with no bridle and no saddle. So this is what the inside of your barn looks like right now. This is the other stall. This is where the rest of your stalls will eventually be. Um, your barn can go all the way out to here. And that will be 12 stalls. And you can leave your horses out in the pasture. There are also apples and straw and carrots. This is a nice big pasture. You can open all the gates if you want. Um, over here again, Azure Coast will be there. On the opposite end of this path, up that hill will be the pine forest. And um, you, you have a very large ranch. You can ride all over it, exercise, train, etc. Collect all the forageables that are on it. Go to each area, collect forageables. If you don't want to race, you technically don't have to. You can just go on story mode and complete it all and just do trail riding for your horses and gather stuff and sell it. Um, up this hill, up there, up that way, and this way are your farming plots. If you truly wanted to just go on story mode and make up your own story, you could be a farmer and have horses and not even worry about the races unless you absolutely wanted to. Um, this wardrobe, I know I've said it before, but you can customize it. Or you can, uh, when you click it, 
you can change your character customization every day, including your name, every day, as often as you want. Okay, so we slept. And you can sleep as often as you want. If you have a, a mare that's pregnant, you're doing breeding, and you want to sleep four days until she delivers, you can do that. All right, so we've got our first competition. River wants us to get set up with a new training course. And Jai wants us to find him if we can. Maybe. So a lot of times there'll be forageables here or over there. I don't see any right now. There's some down here, some in the distance. And I love when the sun comes up. Let's see, can you see it? Yep, there it is. Super cute. It's one of my favorite features, aside from everything just being so cute and cozy. This is also, I showed this the last time if you hadn't seen my video, this board, you hit E to interact with it, and it manages all of your horses. You can send your horse to the pasture. You can change the stall. You can, if you are got all your horses out, you can send them to the stable. Um, like this says current full, and it's like, well, yeah, because he's just telling you he doesn't have a full. But if you had a mayor, um, it would tell you whether there was a full or not. And right now it says none. So that is very helpful and handy. So all the straw is gone. Whoops, sorry about that. All the straw is gone. So you click on your muck, put some straw down, grab your pitchfork, the little thingy comes in, and you just hover your mouse over the poop, and it automatically goes in there. Voila, you're done. Take your little brush. Now he's dusty and dirty because he rolled around in the straw all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's super dirty. Yeah, I know. You don't like it. Don't you pin those ears at me, mister. And again, this haircut, if I wanted to do a short natural mane and then a medium tail, I could do that. Or a short tail. Um, yeah, you can't make it from short to long, but it'll grow back in seven days. Seven in-game days. Um, so I'm going to give him some Timothy Hay, and now we're out, so we either have to find some or go buy some. Um, so he's got 1% trust. Um, he's got full energy and full satiety. So now we have to take him out and see. We are riding tackless. It looks a little weird because <laughs> she's... But it's, it's kind of cute. So we're riding bridleless and saddleless. So we can't do the, we can't do the, um, oh, what do you call it? The races yet. Gosh, I can't talk. Can't do the races yet because they haven't opened them up yet. So you're stuck with, if you wanted to do races, you're stuck with, you know, I just put a lead rope on, a halter and a lead rope on him. So he'll follow me. So this is where Jai lives, the park ranger. And he's like, I bet you can't find me. Yeah, I can. I know where you live. It's really a little disconcerting at times to just like walk into their house. Because sometimes they're in their bedroom. It's a little glitchy right here. This time he's not. So you just click quest. I wasn't sure you'd make it. I'm just messing. <laughs> no, I didn't use the map. But you can drag the map around. It's really nice. Yep. And it can teleport you. Yes. Saves you back. Oh, man. Let's get... Hang on. So leave, and then you have to, now I wanted to point something out. Somebody else pointed this out. Now, one of Eloise's other games is, um, oh my god, now I can't remember it. She has Capybara, Spar, and then there's another one, and that these cakes are from that other one. So 
So we climb back on our horse. And then we go find River. Pardon me. A little sniffy. All right, hang on. So we're going to find River, who's this way. The NPCs do move around. So you do have to kind of make sure that they are there. So you drag your map. She's there. Grab your forageables. She's got two horses. Okay. Okay, so she wants us to buy the beginner flower fence for a hundred. Okay. Oh, she's gonna give us tips. Yep, it's limited. Now, potential, she's saying potential can't be restored as easily. It can be restored. That statue, excuse me, that statue that we saw, um, when you've won, I think it's 10 races, you can, um, they will glow. It's one of those little secrets. Um, Okay, um, it will glow and you will get 10% potential and in each area um, that is open right now there is a statue. So we've got one for potential which is here in town. Um, we've got one for jumping. We have got one for flex, uh, no, one for jumping, one for endurance, and one for speed. And they give 5% each. Um, and they are in each of the areas that are open right now. Crystal Lake, Pine Forest. Um, because you can see it's already starting, got a little glow on it. So I don't think these are open yet. It may not. OK, so Lupine Meadow is speed. Pine Forest is Endurance, Crystal Lake is Jumping, and River Shine is Potential. So Rocky Mountain and Azure Coast, one of those is going to be Flexibility, and I don't know what the other is. So these are all still locked. This will be Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. And Madeline, of course, runs the races. So let's see. It's already only 8.26 in the morning. Do a little bit of jumping, or not jumping, but endurance. We'll get this, and we'll see if we can sell something to George and get a little bit of money. And then the two best ways to make money in this game are doing the races. God, is George not here? It's Tuesday. He's not. He's at his house. Okay. That's why I said sometimes they move around. He does go to his house, and if he's not at his house, he's right here by this fountain, or he's up here in this little market area. At some point, that little market area will be filled with vendors, and we'll have the saddlery here, the veterinarian, and whatnot. Let's do a little gallop. Whoop. Apple. Sometimes they sparkle, sometimes they don't. Yep, there's George. He's getting ready to leave. He's on his porch. 
We caught him just as he was leaving for work. So shop. This is where you purchase everything. So you can purchase a soft brush. Gosh, 550. It's a fluffy brush that increases your bond, but it does clean slowly. You can buy a little bit of tack. Um, we need a few of these. And then you can, this is where you can sell. So all this orchard grass, and you can, you don't have to just arrow it. I, like I can type that three in there and sell it. You can sell your manure. Sell my straw. Sell four carrots. All right, so now I've got 1,100. There we go. So I've got a little bit more food. Come on, horsey. So we'll see if we can find some more stuff. And then can't do anything else today. Right, so in the beginning, it's a little bit of a grind, but it is still such a super cute game. Well, to be fair, other games are a bit of a grind too. So it's just the way video games are. So this area, the area up, up here, and then back here a little bit, you can always look and see if you can, it's a bit of a glitch, like right here, whoops, right here there's usually a, something, you can see right here under this tree there's usually some things, right now we've got, looks like two, apple here, apple here, carrot here, um, there's usually something over here at some point or over here. Yep. You have to have 10% trust, trust in order to get your horse to answer to a whistle. So I didn't have enough for that old brush, not without getting anything else. And just by doing that, he was dusty. Not even racing, just running around town. But he still has energy. I could train him, but I'm not going to right now. Supposedly, the law, they, it used to be that you lost potential during the day. Um, but I think they took that out. All right, so we're going to go to sleep. And I'm going to end this video right here. So I will see you all next time. Thank you so much.